This is the best affiliate marketing tutorial for complete beginners. I literally use this brand new method to pull in $346,000 in net commissions. And even if you have no experience whatsoever and you have zero tech savviness, we still have complete beginners making $100 to $700 a day in their spare time. So why don't we actually go ahead and begin? Again, we have six simple steps, my friends. Six simple steps that if you go out and model it, that you could actually go out and succeed. Now the first one is modeling what already works. Now here's the thing, success leaves clues. I think when I was first getting started in making money line, I was an idiot because I was like, oh, I could know everything when I didn't, right? Like my entire life, I was supposed to become a dentist. So obviously I did not have a business background in my bone, right? I was supposed to be a doctor, dentist, lawyer, nurse, cause that's what Asians are supposed to do. And I got into this thing called, you know, make money online and, and try and find passive income and try to go ahead and create freedom for myself. But I was just, trying to go ahead and do things on my own. When in fact, the people that succeed the most model something or someone that already has a result that they want and just reverse engineer it. Like, does that make sense? Like, I think when most people get started, they're like, oh, they overcomplicate everything. When what they should do is they should model already what works. And I remember when I lost a bunch of money, when I was not in a good health state, when I was not in a good mind state, when I had very little confidence whatsoever, I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm like sick and tired of being broke. I'm sick and tired of not being able to afford taking care of my family. I'm sick and tired of seeing my friends, you know, living a better life than I am and me just feeling like a loser because I would always look at my bank account realizing like, why, why is this stupid number on my screen consistent and not growing? And I'm always like in the scarcity. I realized I was like, okay, if I'm going to get out of this, I need to go out and model what already works. So I remember I saw this website. It's called nerdwallet.com. They're literally one of the biggest affiliate marketing websites in the world where most people are like, oh, I wanna go ahead and make $100 a day, I wanna go ahead and make 10 grand a month, I wanna go ahead and make 20 grand a month. This one website alone, with affiliate marketing, made $538 million last year. Now here's the thing, I wanna go ahead and push your mind a little bit bigger because it's like, if there are affiliate websites making half a billion, b -b 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 billion dollars a year, can you, do you think like you could at least make a hundred dollars a day? And that's what I was thinking. I was like, okay, there's people out there that are making money and I just need a model what already works. Does that make sense? Now, the moment I identified that NerdWallet was the website that I wanted to go ahead and model, what was the next step? I needed to find out what products they were selling and how the heck that they were actually going and selling it. Again, understand, success leaves clues. If I see someone that has a really good relationship and I don't, I know one thing. This person is doing something in the relationship that I'm not doing. If I see someone in a better shape than me, and I, I have no idea like how to get in a better shape, I know that this person is doing something that I am not doing. When there's people out there that are making the income, the lifestyle, the fulfillment that you actually want, do you understand that they're just doing things that you're not doing? That's just it. So you gotta go ahead and ask yourself right questions and find out, okay, well, how are they actually going in and doing this? Does that make sense? So, I was like, what the heck are they selling? And I'm going in and typing in best travel awards credit cards and I realize that they essentially rank on a search engine where people are like searching for things every single day on things that are solutions to their problem. So when people go ahead and actually search for things like this, right, all of these credit cards pop up. All that happens is when people go ahead and click on any one of these things, they go to another website where if someone goes ahead and now signs up for this, they're gonna go ahead and, for example, get commissions off of it. Does that make sense? So I realized that these people were selling credit cards. These people were getting hundreds of dollars in commissions to go ahead and recommend credit cards. They didn't have to create a product. They didn't have to go ahead and do any shipping and handling. They don't have to do any customer service. They're literally just getting the eyeballs and then getting commissions off of that on the back end from companies that already exist. Does that make sense? So if you wanna go ahead and do that, you just wanna go ahead and find out what products that they're already selling, you could go ahead and model it by literally taking anything, say like for example, credit card affiliate program. If I go out and do that, look at this, there's, there's all of these credit card affiliate programs that I could essentially sign up for from American Express, from Bankrate, from credit.com, from all of these things where if someone goes ahead and for example, clicks on that link, they go ahead and get a credit card, I would essentially get many. Does that make sense? So the craziest thing is it's free to get started. There's so much different affiliate programs out there. Like, I, I mean, like you could even see like some affiliate programs pay out really, really well. This paid me $346,000 in net commissions. And as you can see, again, if someone like me, I'm not the smartest person in the world, can do this, then what is stopping you? So the next step is finding out how they are getting traffic. Now, if you're complete beginners, you're like, what is traffic? Isn't that a thing that I go ahead and sit in in rush hour when I'm trying to go to go to a job? No. Traffic is eyeballs on the internet where if you go ahead and for example get attention, 
that is traffic. So just imagine traffic is attention. Attention is traffic. The more attention you get, the more money you make. The more traffic you get, the more money you get. So how do they actually get traffic? Well, it's very simple. If I come here and type in best credit cards, you see all these things that pop up. These are what people are searching for on all platforms. That is a search engine. So YouTube, so Google, so Pinterest. And how NerdWallet was getting traffic was they're just creating articles that rank for those keywords, like that being in with best travel rewards credit cards or travel credit card review or you know Capital One Venture Card versus Chase Sapphire Preferred Card. All of these keywords, these are what people are essentially searching for. So all NerdWallet was like, okay, let me go ahead and for example, just create a bunch of keywords and articles that people are searching for rank for them in search engines, and that's how we're gonna get the eyeballs. Now, why is this crazy? Because it's free. Like, people are complaining, they're like, oh, well, you know, there's so many businesses that, you know, require money, and like, don't I need money to get started? No, there's like social media platforms out there that are free to use. And the fact that most people aren't using them just blows my mind. You understand that you can get eyeballs and traffic and, and money out there. You just gotta go ahead and use these free platforms. The next step is creating a content plan and staying consistent, so obviously, I'm not a good writer. I got bad grades in English. So I was like, you know what? Maybe go ahead and make YouTube videos. So what I did is I did the exact same thing and I typed in something like jump rope transformation or anything that pops up when you go ahead and search anything on YouTube. And all I did was I just started creating videos every single day, ranking for these keywords. Like my plan was making three videos a day because I found out Nerd Wallet was like doing about like 10, 20, 30 articles a day, and I'm like, okay, I don't have the money to go ahead and hire a bunch of Filipinos to go ahead and write my articles for me, but what I do have is heart, I have determination, I have discipline, and I'm just insane and psychotic enough to just create a bunch of content out there. So I literally created a bunch of content. I was like making videos on vegan versus carnivorism. I was creating videos about jump rope. You could see if I go ahead and type in jump rope transformation, you will literally go ahead and see me. One video got nearly one million views, Right, so you could see that it's like, <laughs> how much did it cost me to go ahead and get these eyeballs? Free, it's YouTube. Anyone could go ahead and use YouTube. Anyone could go ahead and use Google. Anyone could go ahead and use Pinterest, right? Now, here's the thing. If you suck at creating content and you're like, I don't wanna show my face on camera, well here's the thing. If you wanna, don't wanna create content, you wanna check out the brand new silver lining method to making 3K to 10K a month in eight weeks with no experience, then all you gotta go ahead and do is sign up for the free workshop below and check it out, my friends. Okay, so. Step number five is building up an email list. Now, why is an email list really good? Well, as you can see on any given day, we're getting hundreds of emails every single day. And the coolest thing about this is many of the times, a lot of this is free, right? Like I'm just putting content on social media, I'm putting myself out there, I'm showing my face on camera, I'm doing Instagram, I'm doing TikTok, I'm doing YouTube, I'm doing YouTube shorts. I am everywhere. But the problem is, is at the end of the day, that isn't my traffic or eyeballs. That's a way to get attention, but I need to go ahead and get that attention off of those platforms and onto my own email list. Why? Because the same amount of time it takes me to send a, an email to my grandma whom I love so dearly, I could also send it to tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. If I had a product, say I wanted to go ahead and sell this teddy bear, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and create a teddy bear affiliate program because everyone that sees a teddy bear, for some reason, when they get places, they're like, oh, I wanna get a teddy bear just like Mike. If I wanna go to send an email to people, check this out, I can send one email and reach 95,000 people, okay? So if I wanna go ahead and make money, guess what I need to do? I just need to write an email, same time it takes me to send the email to grandma, it takes the exact same time to send it to you know, my email list. And I can literally go ahead and create a bunch of income just like that. The next step is, Practice copywriting and sharpening your sword every single day. Now here's the thing, when it comes to making money with affiliate marketing, with any business whatsoever, behind every single success story isn't a business model, but a skill set. What do I mean by that? Fast forward 10 years in the future, 20 years in the future, 30 years in the future, guess what? Every single year, the business model always changes. I remember when I first got started in 2012, it was one business model. Then 2013, another business model was better than that business model. Then 2014, another business model was better than the previous business model. Then 2015 and 16, every single year, there was a brand new trend, there was a brand new business model, and every single year, the one that worked last year no longer worked. Does that make sense? But what was consistent amongst all of those business models was the skill set that you develop. And understand this, there is only a handful of skill sets that if you focus on it every single day and you sharpen your sword every single day, you get better and you get better and you can get better. The thing is, luck is on your side and you can find whatever way to make money online and actually make it happen. What are those skill sets? Copywriting, 
marketing, sales. But ultimately, if you wanna find the number one skill set that is easiest to learn this year, where complete beginners are making 3K to 10K a month, faster than anything else that they've ever tried, then I highly recommend you check out the brand new Silver Lining Method in the link below and signing up for the free workshop. And if you need help, you'll book a call with me or my team where we can create a customized game plan and a strategy session for you to actually go ahead and hit your income, your lifestyle, and your fulfillment goals. Check it out in the free workshop below. See you guys in the next video.